Okay, we're gonna go take a walk on the Borzoi Trail. Oh, that's Cherish tearing around. <laughs> Cherish and her sister. Oh, they're already down to the creek. They're fired up. 10 o'clock in the morning, November 11th, and it's beautiful out. It's about 60 degrees. I was out on the trail this morning clearing the leaves, as you could see. So now we're just gonna go for a walk and see how gorgeous this is. There's Cherish flying around and her sister. Tearing up my trail. Let's go. our sitting area if you remember from the past videos and this continues on the main trail our old crossing right there but now we have a bridge crosses the creek this old fallen redwood massive tree so I cut some steps into it, put a railing, let's go. And we have a crossing, mainly for the winter time. Look at Chera, she's all soaking wet already, she's in the water. Come on girls, let's go. They're frisky this morning, look at that. <laughs> They're flying around. I'm using my GoPro, recording in HD. Chest mounted, so there will be a little bouncing action but I do have image stabilization on. This little circle here goes around our famous black cherry tree. All leaves are gone. more black cherries right there right here a couple beech trees
still on the main trail. It's 0.567 miles long. It's all on our property. Now we're going to the Fox Run Extension. That's what we call it. We name all the areas of the path. So when we're talking about things, we know exactly what area we're referring to. This is another portion of the creek. And this is the southeast corner of our property. A tree with the ribbon marks our property pin. Huge tulip tree right in front of us, better known as poplar. It's an ironwood tree there. There's one of my trail cams. Keeps an eye on what's going on down here. They have night vision. So doesn't miss anything 24 seven. Motion activated. These two beautiful beech trees right here are very near the back line of our property. We'll continue on. I have bridges over all the washes so that we could walk the trail pretty much any time without going through mud. Now we're approaching the creek again. It's a different portion of the creek. We call this area Anotak Park. It's just a nice area where it could sit. It's peaceful. A little feeding station there for deer. Salt Lick for deer. And these are the two trees that we hook up a hammock. Continue on. Main trail. Coming up to the skunk den. There's the skunk den right there. You can see that hole. Of course, there's no more skunks. He took off late July of this year. Haven't seen him since. But there's a fox that's been hanging out back here the last couple days. So I was kind of curious. if he was gonna take over the den for the winter. I moved one of the trail cams to that area. This is our a summertime crossing for the creek. Gets over to the sitting area. But we have a bridge that goes over the main creek. And this is for during heavy rains and for the winter time. That's where Cheris just jumped in. She probably thought the leaves were ground and it wasn't, it was water. That's why she's soaking wet all the way up to the belly. It's our bonfire area. Gotta wait till it rains a little bit to dampen some of the leaves and then I've got some wood to burn. This is our sitting area. 
if you remember from past videos a little fire pit and then this is Myrtle Lane we call it because of the big patch of Myrtle right over here covered with leaves right now it's another bridge over one of the washes This here we called, call Creekside Pass. Goes along the other side of the creek now. You can see that we were over there just a little while ago, the park area. Another little bench I made. All the benches and the borders, it's all made out of fallen timber. I didn't cut down any trees. That's cherry. The wood, little walk over soggy area this is the gorge loop extension this takes us over to an area we call the gorge loop and then this is a summertime trail kind of a shortcut it's a big hill though can't do that in the winter just slip so anyway this area we call the gorge loop Another feeding station for the deer. Here's the creek. Another portion. It's just covered with leaves. These have been falling like crazy. Lots of deer prints. They walk our trail. This way they don't crunch leaves or crack sticks as they're passing through. So much quieter. Nobody knows they're they're here. Except me, I've got four trail cams. Keeps an eye on things. See a lot of stuff. It's a lot of fun. It's amazing how many animals are down here that you never know, never see. And this is, we call it the gorge because it's just a big hill here. And we're at the bottom of it. It's not really a gorge, but we had to name it something. This is the main wash from all the water coming down that hill. So I built this bridge. Used to be really muddy walking across there, not anymore. That's the end of the gorge loop. Come back to the extension that takes us to Creekside Pass. This is the horseshoe part, little horseshoe of the creek. It's all covered with leaves though, pretty hard to see. I packed rocks along that wall, keep the erosion down. It's been holding up really well. This is the rest of Creekside Pass. Little stepping stones made of wood. The battery went dead, so I had to swap it out. But we're gonna continue and finish the trail. There's a sitting area, bench made out of a beech tree. That's the remains of the beech tree there. I'll be building something out of that when it falls. We're climbing the hill now, going to the highest portion of our property. This area we call Overlook Circle.
that's the path I showed you. It goes down to the gorge. And then this is Overlook Circle. And you can see the path at the bottom of the gorge. That's where we just were. This is the northern line of our property. Neighbor has his equipment here. And this path returns us right where we started. Here comes Promise. Here comes Cherish. <laughs> She's a nut.